We're gonna build a fraction wall Build it nice and tall If you wanna take action to compare fractions Build a fraction wall Let's compare one third to the other fractions on the fraction wall and see if we can find any combinations that are equivalent or equal to one third. One half is greater than one third. So we can't make an equivalent fraction to one third out of halves. Let's try quarters. One quarter is less than one third. And two quarters are greater than one third. So again, it looks like we can't use quarters to make an equivalent fraction to one third. One fifth is less than one third. And two fifths are greater than one third. So we can't use fifths to make an equivalent fraction to one third. One sixth is less than one third. But two sixths are equal to one third. So two sixths and one third are equivalent fractions. One seventh and two sevenths are less than one third. And three sevenths are greater than one third. So we can't use sevenths to make an equivalent fraction to one third. One eighth. And two eighths are less than one third. And three eighths are greater than one third. So we can't use eighths to make an equivalent fraction to one third. One ninth. And two ninths are less than one third. But three ninths are equal to one third. So three ninths and one third are equivalent fractions. One tenth, two tenths, and three tenths are less than one third. And four tenths are greater than one third. So we can't use tenths to make an equivalent fraction to one third. Let's summarise what we've found. One third, two sixths and three ninths are equivalent fractions. One way to check for equivalent fractions is to see which fractions line up with one third when you draw a vertical line from the end of one third down the fraction wall. The ends of two sixths and three ninths line up nicely with one third.